Hi, my name is Dr. Bob Marcus, founder of Kick Your Apps Incorporated, maker of DDSGP and other great apps for dentistry. The purpose of today's video is to give you a brief overview of the usage of DDSGP app. First of all, it's a nice idea to read the instructions. There's a lot in there you may not know about. I'm going to go over a couple of things today. First, in the upper left hand corner, there are th four possible views here. The Categories view, which organizes the demonstrations in the app into folders. The Library view, which gives an alphabetical list except for instructions, which is always at the top. This list is searchable, so I can type in D-I-S-E and I'll get everything with those letters in it. Note, you do not have to use the first letters of the demonstration to pull it up. This is good if you can't remember the exact name. The Favorites list is a list of all those things that I've added to the favorites and I'll show you later how to get them on there and reorganize them. And then the treatment plan. We're all familiar with making treatment plans but this makes a treatment plan that's easy for patients to understand and we'll go over that too. Back to categories. Now on this list are all the things available in DDSGP. In this case organized into folders. For example if I want to find some types of decay here are listed all the kinds of decay I could possibly think of. Let's use root decay as an example. Up on the screen will come a big picture that's easy for patients to understand and see. We're not talking about slick 3D videos here. We're talking about a better drawing than you can make on a bracket table with the same intimacy with your patients sitting only a foot or two away and you're doing the talking, not some guy in a voiceover. Now, once I'm viewing this picture, I can use the controls at the bottom to do things to show patients. The most important control is the slider where I grab this little ball and I can make things worse or better to show patients. I like to tell the patient, well, yours is about here. If we wait six months, it might be here, etc. Patients need to know what's wrong and patients need to know what's going to happen if they don't fix it. The two buttons to the left and the right here are to advance one small increment back and forth. This is in case you're not able to get exactly where you want on the slider and need to just move a tiny bit. The green button is a play button and it will play this, the demonstration from where you were until the end. At any time you may press it again and that'll stop it. The three stripes over here is a good way to move the slider up and down. The app will remember the final position you left the slider for the next time you launch it. I like to put it way up here when I'm demonstrating across the conference table and down here when I'm sitting next to a patient. So we now know how to navigate through the demonstration. Two other options are at the bottom. This picture you see here brings up all the photos that are in the app. Some of them are x-rays, pictures, drawings. You can also add a photo by clicking over here the add a photo button and add any photo from your library. So if you like to take pictures of your patients, befores and afters, etc., this is a great place. Get into the right demonstration and add your photos in there. The app will retain it for future use. The little crayon over here will bring up the drawing tools. The drawing tools allow us to draw right on the demonstration using the color selected or the highlighter, which is somewhat transparent so we can see through it just like a highlighter. The undo button will sequentially undo the drawings we've made. The trash button will go ahead and erase everything. And the plus button is an interesting feature. After I've made this really amazing drawing that I want to use again someday, I can press the plus button. It'll memorize it into the photos. Once I hit photos again, you'll see we have a new photo now. This one. Now I click it, it brings that up. This is a very, very nice way to save the demonstrations that you've drawn on very nicely for next time. Okay, and the big X here, of course, just closes both trays and leaves you with room. The next thing I'd like to talk about is settings. In here is a good place to put your practice name and your practice info. You can get up to five lines here, put whatever you want, and the practice name that you type in will show up in here and stay there. The practice info, that'll show up on plans that you later email to patients, which we'll go over in a separate video. Okay, one more thing for this video. Let's talk about the favorites. Let's say I use this decay root all the time and I don't want to be searching through folders for it. Simply press the plus and favorites. 
And we can do that for whatever demonstrations we find are the most commonly used in our office. I don't know about you, but broken cusps are very common in my office. I keep that in one of my favorites. When I hit the favorites button, you'll see a list of all the ones you've saved in the order you save them. You can edit this list and drag the sliders to reorganize it or press the little red button to delete that one. That list will be retained for future uses of the app so you'll be able to access your favorite demonstrations quickly. All right, well that ends it for this video. Next time we're gonna talk about how to create a treatment plan, organize it, and email it or print it. I hope you're enjoying, enjoying DDSGP. If there's anything about the app that you would like to improve or suggestions, please feel free to email me. That's bob at kickyourapps.com. Thanks very much for using DDSGP. Bye-bye.